Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to activate and pair a Fronius smart meter like this one to a snap inverter or a data manager box. Now this video relates to any of the meters that I've listed here. The smart meter IP has its own separate video and I've put a link to that in the description below. Now the first step is to activate the inverter's Wi-Fi access point, connect to it with a smart device and head to the generic web address 192 .168.250.181. And if you don't know how to do this, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so once you've completed that step, you'll either be in the inverter's web interface or web UI if the inverter was already commissioned. If the inverter wasn't commissioned, then you'd be looking at the commissioning wizard. So I'm gonna show you the first way, which is through the inverter's web UI. Once in the web UI, navigate to settings on the right. You will need a service password to set up the meter, which can be configured in the password section on the left. If a password has already been set and you don't know the password, you can reset it via the Solar SOS app. There's a video which shows you how to do this and I've put a link in the description below. In our case, a service password has already been set. To activate the meter, navigate to meter on the left and you will need to log in with that service password. Select the primary meter as Fronius Smart Meter RTU, then click on Settings next to this option. The device will look for the meter, then once it is paired, you can select one of two options depending on how you've wired up the site. Feed in point is usually what you would select. This picture shows the difference between feed in point and consumption path, which is the other possible option. If you're setting up a WR meter, then you would also enter the primary rating of the CT as shown here. And it will also ask for the grid type, which will usually be set as default for Australia as shown here. The process is similar for the 480 volt UL meter or the 240 volt UL meter, but just note that the grid type options are different. Note if you're installing a 50KA smart meter, you would enter in the CT ratio on the screen of the meter itself. Once you've completed these steps, click on OK, and then click the tick button at the top to save the settings. And now I'll show you the second way, which is through the inverter's commissioning wizard. If the inverter or data manager box hasn't been commissioned before, you can also set up a smart meter in the technician wizard. Proceed through the wizard, creating a system name, selecting the time zone, and so forth. You will also be prompted to create a service password if this has not been done before. In our case, we already have set the service password. Once you reach the meter page, select the primary meter as Fronius Smart Meter RTU, then click on settings next to this option. The steps for configuring the meter are the same as what we showed in the previous section of this video within the web UI. Once you're done, click on OK and then proceed through the wizard. Once you go back to the wizard main menu, complete the solar web wizard to finish off the inverter commissioning. All right, that's it. Now you know how to activate and pair any of these meters with a snap inverter or a data manager box. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.